I hear they call you Vulcan? Why is that? Look, all us Freeborn Blades have a nickname. We leave the past behind, and whatever we were before doesn't matter in the company. So, what... Fearless. Let's help him out before it goes bad for him. Despite his determination, the knight was in an awkward position. He thanks the mercenary for having assisted him in his task. If he can trust the rumors that he hears around the village, he has before him one called Vulcan. He has the pleasure of welcoming the mercenary to the village. And you are? The knight is called Ramno, last survivor of the Order of the Amber Knights, and now protector of Falvin this village. The new arrival is most welcome, but the steward is waiting in the old village. This is Valvenor. It is not a beautiful place, but for the time being, it seems to be unknown to the Deadwalker army. This village has known better days. Before the war, it was popular among the rich hunters who came to enjoy the ample game in the swamps. Today, the only visitors are refugees, who are sadly too numerous for the scant resources of the village. A small healing house provides comfort and succor to the injured. The knight is quite fond of Mirana, the healer who runs the place. Does the mercenary see the building opposite? It was once an inn, but it is now the residence of the steward, the man now in charge of the village. This is a very large inn, considering the size of the village. There must have been many visitors before the war. With any luck, we might get to sleep in a real bed tonight. How come you talk that way? Always in the third per- The way people speak is different from one place to another. The Knight's people are a warrior tribe from Algon. Where can I find a steward? As the Knight said, the steward is in the old- What does the steward want with me? The captain has offered the services of the Freeborn Blades to the steward. The steward must have orders for the mercenary. Shit. I'm gonna get stuck being this guy's errand boy. Damn! I knew I should've gone with me. What can you tell me about this back? This village is a modest one, and its reserves are almost gone. Its only strength is its isolation in these swamps. That is also its gr I already figured it was some kind of shit. That the refugees and the villagers must live together is difficult. And the situation is worsened by there not being enough food. The swamp offers protection against the Deadwalkers. But it also harbors many dangers. When the knight and the elf are not there to defend the walls, the watch often leave them unguarded. I'm going.
Here we go. Another one of these hick refugees. There's nothing for you here. Call me a hick one more time, and I'll be... Uh, let's all remain calm, shall we? Please forgive my error. Well, sir, what... I need more info about that. And you have decided that I have a sympathetic face. It's the story of my life. What can you tell me about the steward? Oh, don't expect me to say anything bad about Bert Hoff Chambriad. I'm not always in agreement with him, but I can see... It's not often you see an elf blending in with other cultures. Are there... To my knowledge, I was the only one. That is, until Prince Arundel and his acolyte... Not at all. Well, it does for me. His Majesty the Prince of Imbeciles is going to... Do you know the woman who runs the healing? Oh, but of course. She's all one hears about lately. Everyone here will tell you that she's a cor Everyone but me. The woman's insane. There are already far too many mouths to feed in this camp, clearly. And the Red Scribes? Oh, certainly. A boring bunch of fusspots, spreading science and preaching the good word while never sus- Our game? Well, pray tell. Give us the details. Please, give us the benefit. I don't pretend to know about all their little plots. I spend very little time with them, and frankly, but I am fully aware that pretty speeches serve no better purpose than manipulating minds. They're nothing more than... The more the melody is sweet, the better it distracts you. And is there anything... When it comes to disgusting discourse, you seem to be something of an... What can you tell me about this? Oh, don't expect me... The swamp is our best defense. Happily, the wildlife are just as keen on attacking the dead walkers as they are the villagers. But the situation here in Valvanor grows worse daily. And each new wave of refugees increases the risk of drawing unwanted attention to this jungle. No Ice Lord scouts who find this village will ever escape to tell the tale. Of that, I can assure you. Also, my men are reinforcing your defenses. Forgive me for saying, but you have some serious weak points. Especially the defenses around that refugee camp of yours. The arrival of the Freeborn Blades and the Red Scribes has greatly improved our chances of survival, Captain. Believe me when I say that we are most grateful to have you with us. Needless to say, your men and the Red Scribes are welcome and free to go where they will. But as for any other newcomers, our gates are closed. You must understand that our food stores are as limited as our abilities to... Until you arrived, we had but one person who was even vaguely capable of treating our injured. In the case of Prince Orondale, and there is this beast story. 
Doubtless another fairy tale, the fruit of an alcohol-addled brain. Something hidden in these swamps is causing these disappearances, but we cannot risk sacrificing any. Large groups entail moving chrysalids that are unmanageable. The others quite simply do not return. <sighs> Silence. If I were to listen to everyone, I would need ten times the number of men I have to verify the truth of every tale. Enough! You must aid me to do this. I am not able to do that. Your endless wailings are unbearable. In the name of... Vulcan? But, by the gods, man, what is... This world is condemned. The cold hath invaded its ground, its souls, and its heart. Yet here you stand, weaving your limbs like fish taken from the water, miserably shuffling about to conserve the illusion of warmth and life, and not feel the passing of your last breath. Vulcan, stop this nonsense immediately. It is not he who speaks. All oh, the fall to ruin about you. Yet you still bewail your loose bowels and vomiting. You cannot vanquish your dead walkers. No more than you can vanquish their necromancer masters. They, your only chance to cleanse what your own hath corrupted is to go to the World Heart and liberate it from its servitude. The World Heart is a myth, a forgotten fairy tale, no more real than dragons or dwarves. A myth. Continue hiding behind thy puny barricades, and thou wilt soon join thy myths and fairy tales.